feel so bad for you, you guys. You should watch this episode of Zane's World as Seamus, Deborah, and I go spelunking. House spelunking. House spelunking. He's <laughs> invented a new sport. Big week coming up. It is just going to get crazier and crazier from this point on until, honestly, until Christmas. heading to Lawless Brewing right now to do an episode of Crafts and Crafts. Today I'm sitting down with Maz Jabrani and Seamus Dever. These guys have been guests on my podcast before and they are two of my favorite people and are incredibly interesting and friends. The podcast is like a nice place where we can sit down and talk. We can talk about their projects. I can briefly talk about my projects. I mean, the Crafts and Crafts podcast, the Crafts and Crafts show is really about the guest and me featuring these guests, but selfishly, it lets me sit down and spend time with people that I normally wouldn't be able to spend time with. So I, I as a person, I thoroughly enjoy being able to, to do these. As a fan, I enjoy being able to sit down with, with industry people that I respect to, to shoot these things. Frankie! Hi, 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 hey. <laughs> Oh, Shane, oh, sorry. you always have to do that. No, I wasn't, wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you. No, you guys are both leaving me. I have to tell you, so my guest today, uh, as I mentioned, Maz Jobrani and Seamus Dever. Who cares about Seamus Dever? Don't like when you, We don't like him. Yeah. When you have Maz here, we just sat down and let's show people what we made. Look how nice this is. I think mine's still wet. <laughs> You're afraid to pick it up? There we go. There, there we go. There we go. Mine is called Skittles. Yours is like a tie dye. Yeah. In his defense, he was so stoned when he got here. So, yeah, that was fun. Thanks, man. Thank you. By the way, oh, if you don't yeah. watch Crafts and Crafts, you're an idiot. Sorry. Uh, go and watch his special, The Birds and the Bees. It's on YouTube. You have no reason. As a matter of fact, there's a link to it in this video. Just go down below and just click on it and watch it. And then if you like it, you can donate. Why don't you give him a few bucks or something like that? Compliment is nice, but you don't pay your mortgage in compliments. No, I don't. <laughs> you know, Seamus was in last week's episode of Zane's World, and now he's in this week's looking much sharper. So if you watch the episode of Zane's World, you know we took a hike with him, his wife, and their dog, Izzy, Isabel. Isabella? Isabella. Isabella, Izzy, and then Isabella. I took a photo of Isabella, unbeknownst to Seamus. Well, he knew that I was taking the picture, but he didn't know why. I had no idea, there were ulterior motives. And this then the we time. just did, you wanna show people I what, do. what you did? I do. I mean, you, did, you did some touch up work. I did a very some gloss little up touch work. up at the end. It was a little bit of a glow is, up here, at the end is, there. This is the original, we that's a really together. fun. It's like a old uh, like animated cell. Kind of, yeah, right? And then this is pumpkin. Yours is very impressive. And then, I don't know, man. I kind of like yours. They're we, fun. We both have very similar colored animals. <laughs> animals. I got these uh, these plexiglass, like, I don't know, just kind of an idea that I got after watching something online. It's a great idea. And it, it worked. Yeah. I'm kind of happy with it. I forgot about this. You are in this episode later too. Oh. You offered, this is crazy, he offered to help me go under my house in my very small crawl space, which you don't, you didn't look at before you agreed to do it. <laughs> We're gonna find some dead bodies. Why, why are you blowing on my cat? I, I, oh, thank you. Get, <laughs> okay, it needs, it needs to dry. To dry. It needs to dry. The cat needs to dry. I ordered us two uh, dicky uniforms matching. We're gonna probably wear either hats or hairnets and go underneath the house. You need to find out what the underneath your house looks like. People are scared of that. Yes. It's important to know. Okay. There's gonna, we're going to have a rat count. We're going to find out how many rats there, have died underneath there your There will house. be stuff that we will find underneath there. Don't and I'll tell it. you. They have the bubonic plague. If people, not not all of them, but if people, Some of them. <laughs> if, if people uh, have learned this about me, it's one thing is that I hate to pay for things that I know I can do myself. Me too. So I'm always like this. fixing things in my house where I think some people would hire somebody, but I just can't bring myself to do no, it. I because know. I think like, you know, I bought us $40 uniforms. You're being very generous to do this with me. But I think like that a company would easily charge me a thousand bucks for it. Oh yeah, it. yeah, yeah, easily, easily. Oh, yeah. Have you talked about rate? Um, we're doing this for free. You'll, you'll, have, you'll buy me a beer afterwards. Done. We should probably finish these to yeah. keep our street cred. Yeah. Cheers. Heading back to Lawless Brewing Company this morning. It's supposed to be Greg Fitzsimmons and Brad Williams, but uh, Brad uh, had to cancel. So we are sliding Nick into that spot. Nick Jerry, who is a comedian. Uh, you've seen him in Zane's World if you've watched any of these uh, episodes. He's, he's my opener on the road. So we've um, spent a lot of time together on the road. I'm very much looking forward to sitting down with Greg. 
you know, he's a seasoned comedian and, you know, uh, he, he always has some fantastic stories. He just did episode 1000 of his Fitz Dog radio show uh, with Zach Alfanakis. So that, that just happened. Um, he also does a, another podcast called Sunday Papers, but it'll be fun to sit down with him and then it'll be great to sit down with Nick. We've done 233 shows together. I can't even tell you how many miles we've driven like in the same vehicle, but it's probably somewhere around like 30,000. I could do the math. I probably could figure out pretty close. Doing that, you learn a lot about somebody. So uh, today's trivia uh, contest will be great. I do something called the six pack challenge where I ask my guest uh, six questions which are catered to them. I try to come up with, with questions that they will do well at, but theoretically no one else would know the answers to these because they're so specific. It's easy for somebody like Nick because I know all of his interests. Uh, Greg, not so much, but I think I, I have an interesting one for him. Yay, best friend in the whole world. Best friend in the whole world. Best friend in the whole I'm out, are we still friends? Look how happy I am. This is Shane. Can you? I'm on what? I'm on a wide shot. You can edit it out if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna put it better. And we have Kyle out here. How are we doing? And then we have work happening. <laughs> oh, I scheduled. I scheduled this for right now. Oh, got it. I've so been, should we just wrap this up because this this can't go anywhere? And this, honestly, this is better than this. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Greg Fitzsimmons and I just did a craft, which was making uh, stamps out of potatoes. So I uh, did a dinosaur. And Greg, do you want to show people what you make? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. That was not the intention. That's a something they say art is it comes from your soul, and it's not <laughs> it's not in here. It's in here. You used the uh, where is it? It was. I mean, it yes. it was. A, yeah, it was started off as a bone. Yeah, it turned into this. Turned <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clear. And these potatoes, by the way, this is bring this is bring back PTSD from the famine in yeah. Ireland. All yeah. this black on the potatoes. You, you were there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, if you want to take these for your family, you can. This That's is just the so scraps. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Maybe fry them up. Quick, Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Episode number. Look at Shane just finding the camera. That is a true actor. He just finds the lens. I feel like I haven't had enough screen time in this episode. That's true. That's true. Do you want to talk about yeah, something? I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> we just did uh, the fourth episode of Crafts and Crafts in two days. Our second guest was uh, Nick Jerry, and we did um, wood burning. Um, these are these get to 900 degrees, by the way. We, we, so you start with a piece of wood, and then we are doing mushrooms. Uh, pretty pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty fun. So who's this? Who's? Die, it's going to have value. When people say don't take a wooden nickel, I think they're literally, talking about, they're literally talking about these. What, did you have a good time? I did. I, I, I always like have, hanging out and doing stuff, so that was good. I appreciate you having me. Uh, Nick and I have done, as I mentioned before, we've done 233 shows uh, together. There's a lot happening right now. And so it was a very good, probably the most like, I, this is probably misused a lot, but like intimate conversations, meaning like we just got right into it immediately. It's casual. Casual. Very casual. And, uh, and it was fun here at Lawless Brewing. Let us know what crazy antics you want us to get up to on the road and we'll do it for sure, 100%. Wow. What's, where, where are they, just put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments, in the comments. That's Shane, when are you gonna be a guest on this show? Here's the thing, Zane. I'm, yeah. I'm a busy guy. And, yeah, you and are. And there's like, okay, you gotta, we'll go. oh, oh, sorry, there's more. You gotta prioritize the important things. See, like, I, Star Wars might call me back. I gotta I'll leave my schedule open. A lot of Star Wars always with this guy. Always leave it open for Star Wars. Always leave it open I gotta for Star leave Wars. my schedule always open for Star Wars. I'm gonna just mention something, and this might be, this is, I think this is like, just semantics, but you did die. That wasn't me, it was a different contractor. Really, that was not me. Really, you didn't die? What yeah, happened? He's you... still, my character's still out there. And in fact, I think there's a whole backstory on my character, which I've written. Oh, uh, wow. If you wanna <laughs> find it, wow. contact me, shanehartline.com. NickJerry.com? Uh, yes. <laughs> is, <laughs> for, for, is there much there? Plug your grinder, bro. Plug your <laughs> Kyle, do you have a website? Oh uh, yeah, America's Most Wanted. <laughs> wow, wow. We talked about getting all the, the sharp things away from Nick. I did use this with, with Greg. Thank you. What we're doing was the most dangerous thing we've done with this knife all day. I'll tell you a quick story. When I was in college, I... Hey, I have to edit this, so yeah. I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Next scene, next scene. So, now they want to hear the story. So, when I was in college, 
the Sports Illustrated swimsuit show. It was like a behind the scenes show and it was on. I was watching TV and that came on and I was like watching it and I had been uh, getting my scuba certification in college and so I got a dive knife. So sitting there watching TV, flipping it into the floor of my the house we were renting. They'll, they'll watch it when this comes out. And it was sticking in the floor and then when the Sports Illustrated show came on, I was like, whoa, and I just got, I was distracted. The knife was stuck in the floor and I forgot. And I was sitting there barefoot and the phone rang. So I got up from the, the couch and I ran to the phone and ran right through the knife. And it sliced one of my toes. My. The, like it literally filleted part of my toe. Jeez. And I had to go to the hospital and um, they were very busy, so I was there for about four hours. Like so John Wick. there's a lesson. Just I don't need to have knives near me. About a month ago, Mel uh, showed me that one of her pupils was dilating different than the other, which I could tell. I hadn't noticed it before. We made an appointment that day to go into the ophthalmologist to get her um, to get her eyes looked at, and her eyes checked out fine. And and uh, he said you should probably go see another doctor. So we've now been to uh, six appointments, including an MRE and an MRI. And today we have to go to the doctor to get the results. I'll just <laughs> I just point out that if this was not a happy story, I wouldn't put it here. The fact that you're seeing it, I don't know if you're gonna use this, Shane, or if that's better, just leave people hanging, but anyway, um, now we're gonna go in to see a doctor to get the results of the tests. So I am now gonna get Mel a uh, stuffed animal. Dude, again, Shane? Shane bought us dinner. Oh, stop it. Oh, he knows me. What does he say, what does it say? No, I can't imagine being married to someone like Zane. <laughs> Oh my god. What a jerk. Finally, somebody who doing? understands what is it me doing? and what I go through. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Why'd you, why'd you close it? Because I don't want you to touch it. <laughs> Can you go away? Yeah. What is that one? Yes. Yes. It's boiled. I didn't even know, but Shane's my best friend. <laughs> So we went to the ophthalmologist to get Mel's eye looked at. He recommended she go to the doctor. The doctor recommended she get an MRA and she got that. Tests came back negative on that. That searches for like blood clots and stuff. And then she was told to go and get an MRI, which looks for tumors and gross, that kind of thing. When she got the MRA, she said, the doctor was like, yeah, you're good. And then when she got the MRI, the doctor's like, can you come in and talk to me about it? And when we initially went in for the MRA, I wasn't allowed back. But this time Mel said, well, if I, should I bring my husband? Can he come back? And then the, you know, the person who called the receptionist was like, yeah, he can come back. So now Mel and I are pre prepared for the worst. And we get in there and the doctor's like, so how are things going? I'm like, haven't slept in two days. <laughs> you know, like what's, what's going on? And she's like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's negative. We're like, what? It was like, why didn't you just say, hey, your test came back, everything looks good, but just come on in and let's just talk about it. But no, we had to have like two horrible days of not sleeping, to be very honest, a lot of crying and confusion and, you know, do I cancel my tour? Um, you know, like, okay, maybe we need to sell the house. I mean, like, that's where my mind was going and Mel and I were trying not to have those discussions. Last night, took her out to a nice dinner. Like, let's just go out and have a non-stressful non day because we don't know what the future might bring. And then the doctor's like, oh yeah, everything's fine. So again, I am ecstatic over the news, but I couldn't, it could have used not having two stressful days about it. So I know a lot of people have gone through this and gotten bad news. And so you know how we were feeling and the fact that we got good news which was no news, is the best news we could have gotten, but we maybe could have done without the, the stress of it. That being said, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain about getting, you know, great news. And this whole month has been stressful with Mel going in for all these tests. And the last two days of the uncertainty have been even worse because we're like, okay, it's something. We don't know what it is, but the doctor wants to talk to us about something, but that's it. So now I'm gonna, uh, I'm picking up some drinks because my friend Seamus is gonna come over and help me uh, go under the house.
couldn't even tell who you guys are. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, it's me, it's me. This is me. If you need anything be... done under your house, you can call us up. You guys could rob banks It's at this called point. Actors for Hire. And then you hi you bring us in. It makes it sound like you don't have another job. Well, no, it's kind of like, there's a strike coming. We have time. There is a service out here in LA where you can have like a topless maids, like clean your house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very similar thing. Yeah, but actors, and then they just recite monologues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, our version's more sad. <laughs> so, Seamus. Yes. Uh, change of plans. Okay. I'm gonna send you underneath. Oh, wait a minute. This is then... you're all dressed for it, though. Oh, no, no. I'm gonna be the guy that, like, no, goes man, and gets it. You're you, ready. You, you know how too. when you do your, yeah. your TV shows, yeah. and then there's, like, the spy in the field, oh, and then there's yeah, the guy in the chair? Oh, there's a guy, like, in the tech van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna be that guy. You're gonna be like, Zane, oh, I need okay. a pipe, and I'll be like, ah, I'll give you the pipe. Zane, I need a distraction. Ten, I need a stat. And you're and you're the one who goes. Bleep, think, bleep, by bleep, the way, the only way computer. to get me underneath here is to literally make me go first. Uh, I can go first. I don't mind. But if you want to no, go first, I think somebody will be a brave boy. Yeah, the water was the water was up to up to here. No, this whole thing was flooded. Oh, it was coming out of the hole. I don't know. I wasn't here. I was on the road. Things I think we should look for. Okay. Water damage on your joists or your subfloor, if the water did get that high. We need to look for your insulation. Okay. We need, um, collapsed ducts, mm -hmm. that was important. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to the far other side and we're gonna see anything that's detached. Are you comfortable being on camera? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you comfortable being, being off camera? No. Uh, no, 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 no. I get really itchy when that happens. <laughs> so. You got some Cat5 wiring underneath there. I don't know what that's about. That's your probably your security system. Um, oh yeah, our house is very secure. It's the dryer but that's all the way in the back. So you'd have to get underneath that thing to your left. If you go, I will follow you. I think there's a version of torture that could happen right now. I developed it. <laughs> Should you have opened the box first? No, I don't know what's in it. Okay. Hey, Shanus. Do you need help? Do you want me to push you? Do not touch me. Yeah. Yeah. There's just I don't I just don't know if I can physically fit back there. Go and crawl underneath because I hate this. This is way too tight and scary. <clears throat> I had to take a uh, a little quick left turn around your uh, your sewer out here. It's fairly clear. It's Wait, I, it can't go straight. Yeah. Well, um. Well, it's a little tight. I'll be honest. I had a very difficult time right there. <laughs> I'm a little bigger than you are. Oh. So right now we are about. 30 feet in and this shouldn't be like an actual adventure but it's 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 there's a lot to deal with you know what i mean like i've never been tested with cla you know uh, claustrophobic <laughs> situations before you know what i mean so it's just like oh this is interesting i can see where it comes from so what's interesting is there's last of us uh mushrooms growing it's like an episode of dirty jobs or something it is but again there's this there's just the 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 claustrophobic aspect to the whole thing you know what i mean with oh, like yeah. you gotta get out of here quick uh sorry so you can see where the hose is broken that's it that's our that's what we're resolving today so all we need to do is repair the pipe and we're good although i don't know why that's sagging there it looks like it's got some weight in it so we forgot the tape so i'm just gonna call mel i'll go get the tape no no and have her throw it down the hole is there a hole that's, that's yeah big enough? yeah behind the behind the dryer this feels like spelunking. Like, this is just crazy. Now I'm on my back uh, underneath the house. I can see the the rip in the, in the dryer vent. I don't know what caused this. Instead of us replacing all this tubing, uh, we're just gonna do a repair and hope that that actually fixes the issue. Otherwise I have to run all the way back there and go and, and hook it back up at the house there. So this is, you can see this white, this is the old one. This is the existing one. I will tell you right now, if, if Seamus Dever was not with me doing this, I would uh, not be doing it. <laughs> hey, Mel, can you just uh, put your hand in the hole and then, <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Seamus has a theory. So my theory is that a rodent somehow got in here, chewed your <clears throat> your duct uh, uh, tube. Yeah, there were, there were rodents in here. And then when the water came in here, because it was nice and warm, that's where rodents go. Mm -hmm. But when water came in here, it flooded it. Because mm -hmm. why would a sealed tube have water in it? Right. Oh, that, that has water in it back there, but it might also have rats in it. So I'm going to send you back there. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> we replaced the silver uh, duct. Actually, look at these. These old crappy ducts we need to now clear out of here. We replace those with 
they were this splitting. nice shiny one. They were splitting too. That one runs up to the house right there. Oh God, I just duck it into this piece. Oh, hey, hey, hey baby. We're working still. I thought we were done. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. What the f are you talking about? <laughs> dude, dude, I'm trying to talk about you. So Georgie's leaving tomorrow. She was part of a litter of like six and she's the last to go. She's one of the first to get adopted. The adopters were traveling and um, so we kept her and we didn't mind it because she's amazing. She's a little panther and she's going to her new house. Georgie, you're crazy. We have a new litter of um, Siamese kittens. I think Mel is getting some cats that um, are being rescued from Kuwait on Saturday. And I overheard the conversation today about um, the condition, the conditions for dogs and cats over in Kuwait. And ugh, I, I could have actually gone over there and done that run for them. I think, oh man, and it would make an interesting episode, but I think it'd be rough. What are you doing? <laughs> George is like, why am I not enough? You are, you are, you are, okay. It's not very helpful. Okay, didn't have to draw around you. Come on, you're gonna get paint all over your hands. And you have to go to a new, a new home today. You can't go to your new home with paint on your hands. Georgie, you got it made in there. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Georgie. Bye, sweetie. I love you. Uh, excuse me. Scooter, you're in my desk. Okay, you can stay. So. What are you doing? I'm just gonna throw a knife in the air and see if where it lands. Okay, that would be part of it. Right, close your eyes. Just trust me. Do you trust me? Are you trusting me? What trusting? game is this? <laughs> Why is this a game? Oh, God. We are headed to Universal Studios, and I promise you that I'm not by myself. Mel, um, I don't think she's, <laughs> I don't think she's, she's taking a shower. That's yeah. so not true. Okay, when's the last time you took a shower? What's today? <laughs> There's a few things happening. One is we are determined to beat the system with our uh, past Universal Studios. So this is our fourth time going since we uh, have gotten it. And I think we've determined we need to go at least 10 times yeah, to amortize the cost. Because of our, we're going by hours. So oh, we, we, are. we may have been four times, but we've only been there four hours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> because we stay for one drink and then we leave. That's true. So we're gonna go up there and go to the three broomsticks and- We're gonna drink our sorrow away. No, there's no so. Well, okay. so. We had a medical scare with Mel for the last month uh, that we haven't really even been telling our friends about. And so Mel got a clean bill of health from her MR, A, I, E, everything. Every vowel followed by MR. You're just a fountain of accurate Mi information. Of misinformation. Yeah. So Mel got a clean bill of health, which uh, the doctors were preparing us not to get. And so we were getting pretty scared. So things took a turn, the week is great. But then we had a litter of uh, eight cats, cats and kittens, that the last one left today, and that was Georgie, and that was Mel's favorite. So now Mel is back to being bummed. It's cold, so I had to run back and get my sweatshirt. I told Mel to go ahead without me. And then when I get back here, the tram's about to roll out. Maybe I'll pass her. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> now I have to go like the whole way. Oh, so dumb. So our theory is if we come up here like around 7, 7.30, the park stays open until 10. Everyone's spent the entire day here. So most people are leaving. That's the idea. And in fact, it is accurate. How many, what do I have to do for a strike? A shot of butterbeer?
we were just informed that today the park closes at 8 p.m. It is 7.53 and this would be my third strike in about 18 minutes. Not a record, but impressive nonetheless. I need to get some work done. That sounds like a you problem.